So this is why I don't want to become a jiu-jitsu black belt. I got egg all over my fucking counter. Damn it. What's going on? All right, so we have quite an eventful weekend coming up. This Sunday, I'm gonna be actually going to a JT and Fionn Davies seminar. I think I just missed my bus. I guess that gives me time to get coffee. So, let's go get coffee. Okay, so while I was in the coffee shop, I was fixing the ISO settings on my camera, and there's this child running around, and he trips over the back of my heel and just eats shit. <laughs> I'm very vocal about how I enjoy foot sweeping kids, but this time it was not on purpose. All right, off the one line, what we have, like, five minutes to get to this bus stop, and it leaves in eight minutes, and the next one is not for another 25 minutes. We gotta hustle now. We have made it. So she's going to be bringing this arm forward. So first up was Fionn. She went over something called the Tarika Plata, a very high level submission. But using the details she gave us, I was able to implement it right away into my game. It's crazy to see the levels of these athletes, not only in their Jiu Jitsu, but their teaching ability. And that's something I hope to one day possess, but I oddly don't want it anytime soon. I'll explain what I mean by that as we get into JT's lesson. Yeah, final session, let's do it. You guys excited? Yeah. Yeah. JT went over half guard passing and mountain sacks. He gave me some gems with details that I had never thought of and opened my eyes to a completely different perspective on basic day one techniques. However, the crazier experience that day was as I was drilling, he walked up and said this. So to put this in perspective, that was a two-time ADCC champion telling me he watched one of my videos, which is insane. And funnily enough, it's moments like that that make me not want my black belt. So one day when I make it to the level, this feeling of starstruckness, it won't exist anymore. And I'll be at the top, achieving all the goals that I set out to do. But I think the most fun I'll have is my way to achieving those goals. So normally I'm not much of a seminar preacher. I feel like there's a lot of techniques you can learn online. The benefit to having seminars and private lessons are for getting that one-to-one -one coaching, like being able to fill out the position with them. And JT and Fionn were so, so good about making sure they, they made their way around the room and really gave you that attention. So, so another really cool thing, we're getting ready for comp soon. Uh, we got the rep coming up in about a month. So super sick to be able to get out here and uh, learn some of those details to fix up my game. So overall, the seminar was amazing, but the best part was at the very end, I got a full 15 minute round in with JT. I'll show you guys a few of the highlights here, but I'll also be uploading a match review, as well as the full 15 minute round on my second channel, Carson BGJ Rules, so stick around for those. Oh 
might tap me now, but I'll never tap out my mind. <laughs> the force is strong with this one. The force is strong. <laughs> Go on, brother. Thank, Thank you, man. Appreciate it. So rolling with JT. Holy shit. And he was going like, he, I don't even think he was doing 50%. Like, his pressure game was fucking insane. But it was a, it was such a good learning experience, and being able to work with him after about, you know, those positions that I've been having trouble on. He's actually one of the people that taught me the knee slice along with Andrew Wilson. Andrew, Andrew taught me a lot about the knee slice, but there were a few details that I just wasn't understanding. So I went to go watch his YouTube videos on on his knee cut, and it, it changed, it made my knee cut what it is today. So it was fucking awesome to be able to experience it firsthand. Him using it against me and actually being able to uh, pick his brain on it and um, evolve it a little more. Okay, so here is what I've realized. I do want to become a jiu-jitsu black belt one day. I want to teach seminars around the world. I want to make an uh, incredible living off of doing jiu-jitsu and be able to do this full time. Now, as amazing and cool as that sounds, that probably will not happen for a substantial amount of time. It could be six months, could be a year, could be in the next three years. I've been at this for almost two years now, so you know, could be around the corner, could be <laughs> ways away. And um, I don't know when that's gonna happen, but what I do know is I enjoy what I'm doing so much right now. And what I've really truly come to understand is that the process of going from this nobody to one day somebody, this, this part right here is the end goal. I think the excitement and the drive and the passion all comes from trying to climb up this ladder and trying to get to this end goal which is for me and for a lot of people becoming a jiu-jitsu black belt, becoming somebody known in the jiu-jitsu community. The thing that I've really been struggling on wrapping my head around is that I don't know when I'm gonna get to that goal. So how do I enjoy being where I am every day and being able to do the things that I'm doing to pursue that goal? How do I enjoy that every day? I'm never gonna be in this position again. I'm never gonna be a blue belt again, but I'll forever be a black belt. And I think that right there is what made me realize how much I appreciate being where I am right now. Hey.